So you want to know why you should skate switch early. I'm going to tell you why. So before I start, I just want to let you know that when I'm saying like switch, I also want to include nollie because they're basically the same thing. Like, you know how regular it is to fakie, you know, switch and nollie, basically same thing. So I actually mentioned this in one of my like early videos in a Q and A. And the main reason is just that you are never gonna just have switch or nollie click to you magically, right? It's always gonna take time and practice. So it is gonna be a little bit harder since you're skating your opposite foot from what you're used to. But just know that you can try switch skating or nollie skating whenever. You don't have to actually wait for a specific moment. So only thing I actually recommend is like, you know, sometimes there will be like nollie and switch tricks that are a little bit easier than regular or fakey. But I would say like, don't try most switch tricks until you have it down regular. Uh, you don't actually have to listen to that. It just might make it easier because basically the same rules almost go into skating switch from skating regular or goofy. So you can actually use the tips that helped you learn them regular and actually put them into the switch and nollie stance. Yeah, I just want to make a video that like just really clarified that you can start skating switch and nollie whenever. You don't have to wait till a specific moment. You can honestly even learn them both when you're starting to skate. So just remember, it won't come magically to you. It's not some magic. You're gonna have to put in the time and practice, but it may be easier once you've learned it regular because then you're basically, you just have to relearn it with the opposite footing. Because the longer you wait, the longer it's just gonna take to end up landing the trick. If you actually put in practice towards it, you're getting closer to landing the trick than just not trying it at all. So just keep that in mind. Start skating switch and nollie early guys, I'm telling you. It's just gonna make your life so much easier. So for the second part of this video, that was mainly just like one tip, which is honestly an easy answer. But I actually wanted to learn more switch and nolly tricks, mainly because I have a decent amount of tricks, like regular and fakey, and I don't have enough switch and nolly tricks. And it's just a lot harder to learn my tricks regular and fakey now because I've just learned a lot of tricks over my time skating. But I didn't actually practice doing them switch or nollie. So yesterday I actually learned a new trick in nollie stance and then I did some other, you know, switch skating to practice. And yeah, I'm just gonna cut to that right now. Um, you know, it took me a really long time, but hey, I ended up getting it because I put in the practice, started skating switch and nollie. Alright, so right now we're gonna warm up some switch tricks, also some nollie tricks. And then we'll see if I can also learn something new because I've not been able to learn flat ground trick in forever. I feel like switch and nollie is my best chance to learn a new trick. The good thing is the repetition, I'm figuring this out. Already breaking a sweat, but this is like, Good practice for my switch muscles. Alright, so the trick I actually want to try is a nollie frontside flip. It almost looks like a half cat flip, but just nollie version. Let's see, I got close to it yesterday, I think. Is it yesterday or two days ago? But I'm gonna try that and then we're gonna see if I get it. Hopefully I do. This shoulder is not turning all the way over. That's why I'm not even getting close to it. Like I can form it, but I gotta turn all this this way to land it. Something to just click there. <laughs> okay, what just clicked, instead of doing like a whole motion, I'm thinking about it like do a nollie flip, but then turn my shoulders. It's like the same thing, but 
just a mental thing. So I'm thinking about just flicking my whole fucking foot around instead of doing like a flick while carrying my shoulders. If that makes sense. There we go. Oh, I figured it out. I have to also think about it's like flicking backwards. It's like an ollie flip. I'm flicking that way. So before I was thinking about like flicking like over and forward. If I just flick backwards while I'll turn my shoulders, it's kind of like a trick. Okay, y'all, that was it, Nolly frontside flip. I hope this proved to you that, you know, it took me a really long time, but if I didn't even practice it at all, I wouldn't have gotten any closer to it. So just know, but switch, Nolly, honestly, any trick, you just gotta keep going at it, and you have to put the practice in. It doesn't just magically come up like that. It's a lot of tries, sweat, and tears. <laughs> if y'all have any questions about skate and switch, or Nolly, or like, you know, you need extra help just leave it down in the comment section below and i'll try to help you out otherwise than that thank you so much for watching this camera is always heavy right when i'm tired but make sure you like comment subscribe turn on the post notifications so you can be notified when a new video goes up i really appreciate that we're almost near a million views on my why you can't ollie video which is insane and then we're almost near 75k thousand 75k thousand <laughs> 75 k subs so just thank you so much guys thank you for all the support i really love you guys Ooh, we'll have a giveaway i think at 75k it'll be like a mixture between the million views and 75k but yeah thank you so much guys peace